All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be unboxing yet another Japan crate. This is the May edition. Unlike last time, the box is just a normal one. It's not one of those like fancy boxes, but uh, the treats should be still good. We got Phoenix back on the channel. What's up, Phoenix? Hello. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, oh, by the way, today is uh, May 9th, the day we're recording, which is uh, obviously Mother's Day. We might not be releasing this video on Mother's Day, but um, you know, I still want to take this opportunity to wish all the wonderful mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. Hope you guys are all, you know, if you can, spending time with them, uh, your mothers, that is, <laughs> and uh, just having a great day. And also, for uh, you know, followers of this channel, it's obviously Goku Day as well, so a uh, happy Goku Day to my fellow uh, Dragon Ball Z fans. And with all that said, we're gonna open this box here. Phoenix, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, he's been waiting for a while. How many How many days has it been? One. It's been one day. <laughs> but he's, he's literally asked me, I wanna say like 10 times, um, you know, when we're gonna open it, when we're gonna do the video, blah, 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 because he's just been so excited. So uh, yeah, let's crack this open, guys. I got my butter knife here. It's not very sharp, but it should be good enough. Stabby, stabby. And I'm gonna do some stabby, stabby, as Phoenix says. Here we go. Uh, there, <laughs> I'll show you guys this real quick. Um, a bird left us a nice present on this box, uh, as you can see. Uh, I didn't touch it, so we should be sanitary still, should be safe, but um, yeah, that's the first thing I noticed when I, I got the box. I actually forgot about that. Forgot about it? Yeah. Well, now you remember again. <laughs> so you can think about that while we're having the treats. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. Ooh, okay, Ooh. here we go. Quick uh, little shot for you guys. There we go, we got the pamphlet, we got the treats. Um, it says right here, May 2021, and we got Doraemon, is it Dor Doraemon, right? Doraemon on the front here, as well as uh, a few other things in the back. I'll give you guys a quick look at the pamphlet inside. Nothing too different from your standard stuff, just the introduction for all the treats, so there you go. And obviously, as we go through it, we will be uh, reading the description for each of the treats, so you guys know exactly what we're having, but uh, there is the pamphlet. What's up? Choosing first. Uh, why don't we do rock paper scissors? Sounds good. Okay. Oh, I'll give you guys a look at the the box before we, you know, start eating stuff. Okay, we're good. Okay. So, uh, did we do rock paper scissors yet? No, we didn't. Oh, okay. I forgot. Okay, let's go. Okay, rock paper scissors. You're supposed to do okay. a thing. <laughs> rock paper scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Aww. There we go. Okay, oh, I man. won, but you know what? I'm a very nice brother, and I'm gonna let you choose first anyways. <laughs> okay, because I'm nice like that, so why don't you go ahead and pick something, Phoenix? Mm, I guess I'll choose. There's a lot of mini snacks. It's a lot of mini stuff. Do you want to start with the big one? Uh, yeah, sure. I will. Ooh, okay, he went for the chips. I uh, chips really gotta show favorite. people this bag right here. There we go. It says strong. Um... Ooh, sour cream onion. Sour cream and onion? My favorite. I like that too. Okay, so why don't you open that up and I will read the description. Koikea Strong Potato Sour Cream Onion. Koikea is one of Japan's famous potato chip manufacturers. Uh, enjoy snacking on this super savory strong addition. The ridged chips have two times as much sour cream powder made with roasted onion, blue cheese, and avocado. So good, you won't be able to enjoy just a few. All right, sounds good. They're right. It's really good. Apparently it's two times the sour cream and onion. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good, wow. You better start dieting even harder now. <laughs> Phoenix, why'd you gotta do me like that? He's calling me fat, basically, in a nice way. Or well, not super nice, but in a subtle way, I guess. Um, you know, I've been working hard, guys. Been doing the bike every day, been lifting weights every day. But today, we made an exception. Okay, I don't usually eat this stuff, but today we're gonna enjoy ourselves a little bit, okay? So yeah, these chips are fantastic. Um, I would say it's better than like your Lay's chips. Your Ruffles chips, yeah. what do you think? Yeah? Yeah, that's true. I think it's better, I think the flavor is better. Yeah. Mm-hmm, wow. Good job, Kokeo. Good job, Japan. All right, so, I can't just sit here and eat like the same snack the whole time, so 
Let's put this to the side, we'll finish could. it later. We could. <laughs> we could do a separate video for each snack, actually. <laughs> but I don't think people would like that, so. Yeah. And also, I don't think you would like that. I don't think I would like that either. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And now it's my turn, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna hold it up again, and I'm gonna go for this big bag right here. Um, caramel sucorn, it says. There you go. Caramels. Caramel sucorn salt mm. is what it says in the package. And I'm gonna read it real quick. Um, yeah, caramel sucorn salt caramel. <laughs> okay. Wait, is the company called caramel? I don't know. I think, the car I think the company might be called Caramel. As the package says, you will become addicted to these. Rich and salty caramel is sprinkled on each crispy corn scone. Corn scone. Okay. So it kind of looks like um, Cheetos. Yeah. It looks, like, it looks like Cheetos covered in caramel. So it's like a sweet Cheeto, essentially. <laughs> it tastes like caramel, but there's a l tiny little kick of salt. Yeah, sweet and salty. And that is quite delightful too. I'd rather just have salty, to be honest. You like salty more than sweet? Yeah. Oh, I, I like the combination of sweet and salty, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I think these are good. I think these are good. It's, it's exactly what I thought it would be, which is like a sweet, salty Cheeto. Yeah. Right? What would you rate this out of uh, 10? Zero. Just joking. Uh, probably like eight. Eight? Yeah. That's a pretty good rating. That means you can't, you still pretty much, you still really liked it, right? Yeah. All right, there we go. Eight out of ten. The first. Okay, so if you gave this an eight, what would you give these chips? A ten. A ten. I think that's fair. Okay, that that's a ten. That's a ten. So so far we got a ten and an eight. Um, now it's your turn, Phoenix. At least this is better than last time. Oh, so far it's been much better than the last one. <laughs> This one. Oh, you want the koala one? Yeah. Well. I think I remember having these. Yeah, these are everywhere actually. They're um, in all the like Asian grocery stores around us. Um, I don't think I have to intro this too much for people because I'm sure a lot of you guys have had it as well. But just in case you haven't, um, I'll do the description as well real quick for you guys. Wait, I think it's another flavor. Yeah, flavor. it looks like a special flavor. Um, where is it? Cake? Where, do you see it? I don't, I don't see it here. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. Koala's March Shortcake. Ooh! Shortcake, That's I like that. That's what we chose for Mother's Day, right? Yeah, we got a cake from um, the local, local uh, bakery, and we got a sh strawberry shortcake too, so I guess we're gonna have a lot of shortcake today. Mm. Uh, recently, recently released a new edition of Koala's No March is here for spring. A Koala's No March, how do you say that? Koala's No March or is it Koala's No March? Whatever, uh, yummy whipped cream and strawberry shortcake flavors are stuffed into each koala biscuit. For a delicious night treat, pop into an air fryer or microwave for 10 seconds to warm the inside filling. We're not gonna do that. We're, gonna, we're just gonna have them cold and- uh, Not uh, really cold. I mean, the, like not hot, not heated is what I mean. And they should be really good. They are. Mmm, yeah. Okay, yeah, so for anybody who hasn't had these, they're like little koala biscuits. Um, I'm trying to get this to focus. I don't know if it's going to, but. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you see a little koala on the cookie and uh, it's delicious. It's delicious. Cookie on the outside, a little bit of strawberry shortcake uh, filling. Raven time. Um, 9.5, no, nine, nine. Eight. Eight? I think okay. eight. Okay, tough critic, that's cool. Let's put this back. Obviously we will share it with the family and also Taya, um, you know, later on. Now, is it my turn or your turn? Your turn. You just went right, you chose that one? Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this stick here. This stick. <laughs> kind of reminds me of one of, one of those uh, umai bows. Yeah. That we've had before. It also reminds me of that blue stuff. So we have uh, yeah, just like a little rainbow star here, and then just like a you know a chocolate stick, I guess. I'm gonna guess it's like a giant chocolate um, umaibo. Looks more <laughs> like a dog treat to me. Looks like a dog treat. Hopefully, it tastes better than a dog treat though. 
Uh, Shimi Choco Corn Stick. Satisfy your chocolate craving with this delicious stick-shaped chocolate. Corn stick. Okay, cool. Wait, show, mm. show people what it looks like. It's a brown stick. <laughs> there you go. Nine. Definitely nine. Mm. Nine and a half. It's interesting too, because the inside is kind of like a different texture. Yeah. From the outside. Nine, nine, nine and crunchy, a half. Crunchy, crunchy on the outside. Um, not not creamy, but like, how would you describe the inside? Uh, it's like it, it, it crumbles. Creamers. It, it crumbles. It's like. Um, I don't know. I'm not the greatest with descriptions, but it, it's good. Just trust me on that. <laughs> it's really. You want to finish it? You can finish it. It's all yours. If you like it that much, take it. Like you said, I gotta, I gotta die extra hard, right? So I can't have too much on this video. <laughs> all right. Um, Phoenix. While you're finishing that, why don't you pick one more? What's this? That looks like a, a tiny bottle. bottle. I thought it was syringe. It, it looks kind of like a syringe. It's definitely not a syringe, but yeah, it's like a tiny bottle in a package. Um, and it says mini bottle on the front here. Ramun bottle candy. This mini bottle mim mimics a Ramun bottle. This cy cider sherbet or sherbet? <laughs> I don't know. Cider Sherbet candy comes in three different flavors, strawberry, cider, ramoon, and lemon. With a resealable lid, twist, uh, simply twist back on for next time. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's a, it's a mini bottle. Mm. I, I think it. there's like powder inside. I don't think it's powder, I think it's like little... Dots. It's like little dots, it's like little mints, I think. Okay, so yeah, there's the bottle. There's the bottle. Oh, it's not, oh, you know what, it's really fine. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's kind of like powder, but not quite. It's like bigger. Like the pieces yeah. are bigger than like a powder. Okay, so you pop off the lid. There you go. And just take your hand out. Stick your hand out. I'm gonna dump some there. Ah. Okay, and then we dump some on my hand too. It's powder. Okay. Basically powder. Oh yeah, it dissolves. Yeah, it dissolves pretty fast. That's nice. It's like a little sour. Mm. I like that. I'm keeping it. You can have it. Okay. You can have everything because um, I need to diet, so. Yeah. <laughs> Such a savage. Okay, uh, my turn. I'm gonna go for the big packages just because, um, I don't know, I like to go big. So we're gonna go for this one now. We this didn't is the do Kit rating Kat. time. We never did rating. I'll give that a 7. 7.5. Okay, cool. This is the Kit Kat package of the month. Okay, this is specifically uh, strawberry cake? strawberry cheesecake flavored uh, Kit Kat. I know Taya's gonna love this one, so I'm gonna save quite a few for her. But um, I don't think I have to describe Kit Kat to you guys, hopefully. If you haven't had it, then try it. It's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, this is strawberry, strawberry cheesecake uh, Kit Kat. Every single month, pretty much, they give us a new flavor. And uh, there's little packages in there. So yeah, grab yourself one, Phoenix. And let's just try these out. I remember the last month one, um, the champagne one, you didn't like that much, right? That was last month? Wasn't that last month? April? That was March. I think. I think it was April. What was last month then? Isn't that like... Wasn't last month like that, uh, that like, uh, honeydew thing? Oh, it might have been. That mm. was pretty good. That mm. was pretty good. Okay, cheers. You already, had, you already had half of it, but that's cool. It's cheesecakey. Mmm. Oh. Uh, I'm doing eight and a half. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna give that a solid 8.5 too. It's not the best Kit Kat I've had, but still good. Still extremely delicious. Yeah, extremely delicious. Mmm. Yeah. All right. Mmm. Next is Phoenix. Here is your choices. I think I'm choosing this. Mmm. What is this? Those look this? like little dumplings or something. <laughs> 
it's, it's weird. It shows, it shows, I think it's gummy candy, but it shows like... Gummy grape. It shows like a fork, um, you know, like stabbing the It's the supposed gummy to candies. be the texture of mozzarella. Oh, so you're supposed to pretend that um, you're having like pasta when you're eating it, I guess? I don't like it. I, I don't think I'll have freshly grated gra gra gummy on my, uh, you know. On your pasta? <laughs> Actually, I might try it. It's, it's a little weird, but um, I think it's just gonna be regular grape gummies. It's just a weird like way to market them. Okay, so here's one. Oh, it feels like a marshmallow. Ooh. Okay, the one for you, one for me. It's a little like purple triangle. And yeah, it looks, it feels like a marshmallow, right? Like cheese. Sort of has a cheesy texture. Not really. I don't know. What kind of cheese are you having that's like this? Maybe this... like mozzarella? Mmm. Reminds... Maybe a little bit. It little reminds bit. me of mozzarella. It's definitely more marshmallow to me though. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's, like it's, it's kind of like a grape marshmallow. Which uh, is not bad, but I don't love it. I'm gonna give it a seven. Mm, eight. Eight? Okay. Okay. Um, ooh. Okay, so it's my turn. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so I'm curious about this one because it's got crayon Shinchan or Shinchan on the front, which is uh, definitely one of my favorite cartoons, one I of my know. favorite shows. Wait, is it an anime? I think it's an anime. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I remember watching it as a kid when I was in China, though. But uh, yeah, anyways, I really like this character, so hopefully the candy is uh, good as well. Why don't you open this while I read the description? Okay. <laughs> You're having more of the bottle? Yeah. All right, uh, Chocobi Cocoa Flavor. Crayon Chin Chan graces the cover of this cocoa flavored red moon candy. Oh, it's stars. In the shape of stars. Each is individually wrapped for your convenience. It's not in convenience. It's not convenient? Yeah. Well, remember when we said that, like, when things are individually uh, packaged, it's like a sign of quality or something? Yeah. Okay, so it's like a little star. This little um, hard candy star. Are you supposed to uh, bite it? Oh! It's chocolate! I know. That actually took me by surprise. I thought it was going to be like a regular mint or something like that, but no. It's very chocolatey. It's good! Hmm. Right? Yeah. Right? It's, 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 it's solid. You know, I'm, I'm going to give that an 8. Mm -mm. 8. 8? Yeah. Glad we agree on that one. Okay, we got a few more here. Phoenix, take your pick. Uh, what's this? That's a drink. Um, of course. Uh, that's Kochi it. and Kraft. Okay, so there is a Melon drink. latte. Melon latte, huh? I don't think I can drink this. Uh, this, la this melon latte is our favorite. Uh, using 100% Yubari melon juice, Hokkaido cream and milk. We can't get enough. I mean, it doesn't say anything about like coffee or caffeine or anything. It might have a little bit, but it shouldn't have more than like, you know, like a Coca-Cola or something. So I think it'll be okay to try a little bit. All right, there we go. It's a white, it's a white liquid. Try it, Phoenix. Ooh. Smells like melons, right? Kind of like honeydew? Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. That's, that, that's tasty. I'm turning it into a ten. That, that's tasty. You say it so casually too. Ten is a perfect score, you know that, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That means you really like it. Minus 10. <laughs> no, go with it. So you're actually giving a 10. It, it, it's like perfect to you. No, 9. 9? Yeah, 9. I like this a lot, man. I, I really do. I got I gotta give it a a 9.5. That that's a 9.5. Yo, I hope I can find these um like in my local Asian grocery stores, cause uh this is delightful guys. This is delightful. Tochi and Kraft Melon Latte. I'm gonna remember that, cause that is, oh my God. 
Oh, so good. It's so good. It, it, it's kind of like a honeydew, um, it's kind of like a honeydew bubble tea. A little bit, like a honeydew milk tea, essentially. I drink all of it. You can have all of it. I don't think there's caffeine in it, so you should be fine. Yeah, I didn't actually drink all of it. Okay, next up, we only have a few things left. We're almost done here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this box with the little chef on it. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. Boom. Seems like it's filled with cream. Yeah, cream It's called and pan. Cream, cream and Pan. This mini breads are almost too cute to eat and mimic the bread pastries you can find in bakery shops in Japan. Inside each bite-sized pan is a mellow custard flavored cream. Mm. Ooh. Okay, blue bag. And, mm. oh, it's a cream puff. It's like a cream puff. Well, cream yeah, puff. It's, it's actually like a loaf of bread, right? It's actually, it's actually like a loaf of bread, but inside there's cream, right? Yeah. It's a little stale. Yeah, but still good. It is good, but it's a little stale. Yeah, so you bite into it, and it's yellow custard in the middle. If it was softer, I would like it more, I think. Eight and a half. Wait, nine. 7.5. <laughs> I think we differ a little bit on this one. Wow. Very good, but a little bit too stale for me. Not that like, you know, I'm old and like my teeth what hurt. What if it wasn't stale? If it was softer, mm -hmm. I'd give it like an eight, you know? It, it, it's good, it's good, I like it. All right, I got some mini things here. Tiger old man confirmed. Tiger is old man. Okay, which one do you want? Uh, I think I'll choose this, the seven stick. Seven stick. I think it's what it's called. Seven stick, right there. Okay. Um, seven stick. <sighs> Where is seven stick? Uh, do you see it? No, that's not it. Yeah, I just took it here. Which one is sour? No, that's not the right one. <laughs> yeah, just took it. Oh, milk cream stick, milk cream stick. We can't get enough of these mini wafer sticks with a milk cream center. Munch with your favorite cup of coffee, cocoa or tea for the perfect pairing. Ooh, oh, we, we can have it with the, this. Yeah, we can have it, we can have it with the latte. All right. I hope it'll taste good. I hope so. I mean, we know the latte is very good. Let's uh, do a rating with, the, with, with and without it. Okay. Okay, so they're little wafers. Boom, there you go. Without it. Cheers. You gotta cheers, Phoenix. Don't just eat it immediately. Come on, you know the customs. <laughs> Without it is, I'll rate it uh, eight point five. Yeah, it's okay. Not with it. No, don't, don't, don't put the stick inside the. Then what are can. we going to do? You eat it and then you drink, or you drink and you eat. Oh. You do one after the other. Here you go. That's going to be a nine. It's a nine with the with the drink. I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure the drink, um, you know, kind of carries this wafer, but I think they actually accent or um, they actually complement each other really well, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, good pairing, good pairing right there. Good choices. Japan, great. And I'll finish this off. And let's move on. All right, we got a few more. Let's try this one. This one looks very interesting. Ooh, I think it's the sour one. I think it's like a Russian roulette kind of thing where like there's a bunch of regular ones that are Soda sweet. Soda candy. And then one of them is really sour. I think that's what, what that is. I hope it's not too sour. You want to do it? Of course. Remember last, uh, on last Halloween we did like the rule out with the spicy candy? Mm-hmm, I really like that one. Okay, so there's four candies. There are four sticks here, and one of them I think is very sour. Let me read this real quick. Feeling risky and in a, sou and in a sour mood, this super sour soda gum contains four pieces and one is super sour. There's a, Try with your group of friends and see who gets the unlucky sour. A, I love sour. There's a, I think there's like a 25%. Yes, one in four. Good math. Good math. Come closer. Come closer. You gotta frame a little bit. Yeah, me too. Uh, I like sour too, but not too much. I like warheads and stuff. 
Or his is too sour for you? Yeah. Okay, so you don't like sour that much then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, grab one, grab one. Which one? Okay, he grabbed one, I grabbed it's one. It's sour. Just you sure? I didn't need it. Okay, let's go. It's not sour. You got the sour one? No. Are you supposed to swallow it? It kind of tastes like, it kind of tastes like gum, right? You say that in every for almost every gummy. No, it's gum. Oh, I ate it. You swallow it? Yeah. It's not disappearing though. Hmm? I'm pretty sure it's gum. Mm. You should not swallow gum, Phoenix. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad for you, but yeah, probably shouldn't. That was sweet, right? Mm. Okay, so neither of us got it. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. There's two pieces left, and one of them has to be sour. I hope I get that one. Let's go, Phoenix. Left or right? You pick. I picked first before. Okay, I'll go for the left one then. Right. Ah, <sighs> here we go. You got it. I, I got it. <laughs> Yo, they were not playing around with this one, man. Whew. That is quite sour. Quite sour. Oh, wow. You would not have been happy if you got this one. I'm happy that I let you chose first. It's sour, but like, still good. Too sour. Like, it's a little bit past my, you know, like comfort. I see you struggling. No, like, uh, it's slightly too sour. But I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Rating time. Um... I'll, I'll give it a I'll give it an eight, not because it's like really good or anything, but it's just like the the game aspect that like you know, I like the whole like roulette kind of thing. No, that you cool. said that I also make it to eight. Cause you like the roulette thing. Yeah, I really like those things. Okay, we got a few more. Why don't we just let's, let me just grab these? You know, yeah. they're, they're tiny. Just clean out the box. Okay, so the box is empty. There you go. Um, let me pull the paper here, show you guys what's inside. They always have. Some pop. pretty cool graphics, some pretty cool like details in there. I'm pretty sure these are both gums. You think they're gums? Yeah. Well, not uh, not like gums, like uh, you know, gums, body gums. Um, let's see. I think this is a uh, soda gum. Uh, oh, this is grape chewing gum. And what's the other one? Uh, this one? Yep. This is a gummy. This is a gummy. Oh, good. Okay. There you go, you got some little pigs on it. Are you sure that you're not going to say uh, say that's gum again? Well, I'll say if it's I'll say it's gum if it's gum. Okay. Alright, forget it. My arms are tired. It's not focusing. <laughs> Just trust us. There's two little pigs. Two little pigs in the package. And um do they have a description here? They should. Oh, uh grape gummy. No, that's not the right one. I'm pretty sure it's here. Oh, duo gummy. Duo gummy. This duo flavored gummy tastes like grape and apple. With 10 different possible designs, which animal friend did you receive? Oh, I see. So the one they showed on the on the pamphlet has a dinosaur on it, but this one has the pigs on it. So that's why I couldn't find it immediately. All right, so grape and apple at the same time. That's that's intriguing. There you go, they look like little Tic Tacs, or, or big Tic Tacs rather. They're shaped like Tic Tacs. Phoenix, are you still eating? Okay, finish that, finish that. And try this. Okay. Duo gummies. I think I got apple the first one. No, I got apple. Get the get the yellow one. Oh. 
yellow one's apple. Mm -hmm. So they have some grapes, some apple. Just regular old gummies. I mean, they're pretty good. Yeah. You give them like a 7.5. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. Eight. Nothing special, but pretty decent. Mm -hmm. um, is this one gum too? I got Doraemon on this one. Doraemon. They're saying so many uh, things that I don't know what they are. Come on. It's gum. It's gum? Yep. Okay, so I guess we won't have that on uh, on the video because I just don't want to be chewing gum for like yeah. forever. Wait, I think that's it other than the DIY. Oh, what about this? Oh yeah, the mints. Mini Vita. Mini Vita. Got a tiny little bottle thing here. Um, Mini Vita C, Orions. I'm having them. Let's see. Uh, oh, Mini Vita, Mini Vita Mints, Orions, or Orion? Orion or Orions? Mini Series is back with this uh, Mini Vita C edition that tastes just like an energy drink with added vitamin C in Mini Ramune Capsule candy form. So portable, the mini plastic can fit right in your pockets. Cool. So basically just mints? It, it tastes like a soda, but with uh, oranges. So an orange soda. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. Well, that is the end of uh, this video, this uh, month's Wait, what Japan about crate. the DIY? You want to do the DIY on, yeah. on camera? Sure. Okay. Let me see. Um, okay, so we have the DIY here. Is it like usually the instructions on here? Yes, because it's in Japanese. We don't know exactly what to do. Although there's pictures, so I feel like it's actually not going to be too complicated. Okay, so here's the back for you guys. Hopefully you can see it clearly. It's supposed to be ice cream bars. Yeah, so, yeah, this is interesting. This is interesting. We're supposed to be making our own ice cream bars. So let me just open this up real quick. And I think all we gotta do is mix the liquid with like the, with the powder. And we should be good to go. Oh, hold on. Okay, so, as you can see, there are a few of these like gummy blocks. And then there's some powder. And there's like some some yeah. kind of sugar candy liquid sauce thing. And we also got some sticks. We also got some wooden sticks. So I, I guess they like make your own popsicles, right? Yeah. Okay, so Phoenix, why don't I hold this up? And then you can do it, okay? Okay. Okay, don't worry about the sticks for now. Okay, so open that up. How? Insert popsicle into chewing candy blocks. Empty toppings into separate tray se sections. Dip ice cream bars into toppings as you like. Okay, so put it in one of these sections. Okay. So that is the liquid sauce. The, the sugar candy sauce, I guess. I don't really think they can see it. They might not be able to see it. But just trust us when we say, you know, this is what we're doing. <laughs> and the other one is the powder, which I'm pretty sure is just like powdered candy. Yeah. Or, or powdered sugar, rather. Very sugary. Very sugary. So put it in the other section there. Okay. Oh, it's leaking over. Oh no. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so now we got our little sticks here. We each have our one Our popsicle color. sticks. Each have one color. And you can have one stick. Or you can have two sticks, up to you. And then you basically just take the stick, you pop it into the uh, square here, and then you can dip it in the the sauce, and also in the powdered sugar. And there you have your popsicle. Not really. Your makeshift popsicle. Oh no. Phoenix is struggling. It's like gum. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's um. 
It's like a really sweet, really sugary. So sweet. Gummy thing. A little bit minty too, actually. Or that might have been from the mint that we just had before. No, nope, you're not wrong. It's a little minty? Alright, you wanna have I the think other it's one too? 10. You're gonna give it a 10? Yeah. Okay. Very um, tasty. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a six. <laughs> I don't like it that much, honestly. So why don't you have the last one too, okay? Nah, I won't have it. Are we gonna throw it away then? Mm. Just gonna waste it? Fine, I'll have the other one. You have, I mean, you like it. You gave it a 10 and you don't want it? Come on. If you're gonna give it a 10, you you, okay, you must nine. love it like more than anything in this box so far. Okay, it's 9. It's too sugary. It's too sugary? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, well, there you go, guys. That is... The final thing in this box, May Japan Crate, done. Um, overall, I think it's very solid. A very solid offering from Japan Crate this month. Uh, definitely better than the last one, I would say. And uh, yeah, Phoenix, what do you think? Yep, very good. Better than the last one and the mic popcorn. Oh, and the mic popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that, it was, it was plum flavored popcorn, which, um, you know, seemed like an okay idea, but in practice, not the greatest. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible, but could have been better. Could have been better. But this one was solid. So yeah, there you go. Japan Crate. May edition. Done. Phoenix, did you have fun? Yeah, I had fun. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell to, uh, you know, let YouTube know you want to stay up to date with all, all the latest content on this channel. And uh, we'll be back with more Japan Crates, more unboxing, stuff like this in the future. Obviously one per month from Japan Crate, but maybe we'll start adding, uh, you know, other things too, like uh, some other subscription boxes or something. Are you just having the sauce? <laughs> okay, he likes it a lot apparently. But that's it guys, thank you for watching. This is Phoenix. Say bye Phoenix. Bye. You had fun? No? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, he had fun, he had fun. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day guys. I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.